Welcome to EPG Pakshala. Our subject is Indian culture, course is museology, and the topic or model for the discussion is museum equipment. I am Dr. Intrani Bhattacharya, Associate Professor, Department of Museology, University of Calcutta. West Bengal. The learning objectives of this model are building equipment, lighting equipment, conservation equipment, display equipment, security equipment, audiovisual equipment. A museum has several types of functions and for this there are different types of sections each and every section require some equipments in this model we are discussing about the basic equipments the primary mission of the museum is to collect to preserve exhibit and interpret objects of significant historical importance. Museum objects deteriorate for a variety of reasons extending from physical factors to biological factors and for this conservation equipment is very necessary. In order to maintain the objects in such condition that they will survive, it is vital that museum should practice proper techniques for collection, exhibition as well as presentation of museum objects. Every museum should aware of the suitable museum equipment which are being used in case of collection, exhibition and preservation respectively. Here we see the uses of various equipments for exhibition in a gallery of Indian Museum Kolkata in the other museums of India, we already have seen this type of different display equipment. First, we should start with the equipment which are used for maintaining the museum building or for proper maintenance of the museum climate. The equipment used for maintaining the humidity and temperature are different types of humidifiers. It helps to maintain adequate relative humidity, which is of utmost importance for the preservation of museum materials. It has a revolving drum, rheostat switch and sensor for automatic shut off at certain humidity level. Here is some photograph of a humidifier. Humidity indicator cards. It is a quick and inexpensive means of maintaining the relative humidity level in a display area of a museum and also in the storage. Chemically impregnated spot change color from blue when dry to pink when it becomes humid. 
hydrothermographs this vary from simple to complex from dex to wall mounted with limited accuracy to complex highly ac accurate recording devices psychrometer is a battery powered device with a fan which draws air over wet and dry bulbs a relative humidity reading can be taken in only 1 to 2 minutes illumination level is also very important in museum gallery and for this light meters or photometers are used it provides critical information on illumination level especially in the exhibit area usually the measurements are given in foot candles or lux uv radiation cause serious damage to our museum collection so uv fluorescent light filters are used in museum it is designed to slide over fluorescent tubes for protecting the direct exposure of ultraviolet rays to the object which is emitted from the fluorescent tubes uv meter helps to measure ultraviolet radiation which lies in the invisible part of the light spectrum the device has a sensor which makes it easy to determine the amount of radiation striking any surface museum alarm system is another important area which is mainly used for the security of the collection museum personnel and also the stakeholders or visitors the museum technically has two alarm system they can function as one system as far as the user is concerned these systems can handle any type of detection device the most common detector is infrared motion detector and many use detectors that work with multiple technologies such as infrared or microwaves in any one of the detector this detector motion is used within the space and it also triggered the alarm whenever necessary the museum alarm alarm system also are of many types door contact almost always of magnetic type it detects the opening of the door during any person unwanted person wants to enter the gallery glass break sensors detect the breaking of glass at night or during the museum closing hours glass break detectors come in two types impact detectors which detect the impact against the glass and acoustic detectors which are turned to the sound of breaking of glass and thus with the help of this we can prevent theft fire protection system includes fire extinguisher it is an active protection device used to extinguish or control a fire incident typically it consists of a cylindrical pressure vessel containing an agent which can be discharged to extinguish a fire 
or fire hose reels that are easily accessible fire protection system involves fire alarm which includes manual call points indicating equipment fire alerting devices interconnections septic control inputs power supplies and other types of wiring etc it is also connected to a remote receiving center it will also include remote signaling equipment motion detector is a mechanism to detect movement in the gallery in which one pair of connection is to supply electric current to the mechanism and the other pair is to activate the alarm and it generally covers the whole area and not only the floor area areas particularly covered by the device at the areas used to open and close doors and turn lights or or on off an electric motion detector contains a motion sen sensor that transforms the detection of motion into an electric signal this can be achieved by measuring optical changes in the field of view most motion detectors can detect up to a distance of 15 to 25 meters a motion detector can also be connected to a burglar alarm system and it may be also added to a red light camera so closed circuit tv or cctv it is now mostly used in most of the museum it is an electronic monitoring system to transmit a signal to a specific place on a set of monitors closed circuit television consists of video cameras and tv screens connected directly through a network of cables commercial cable television is technically an example of closed circuit television but the term cctv is generally reserved for systems serving a small number of screens that are mostly used for security purpose in a museum walk through door frame metal detector here we already see a photograph of this device the walk through door frame metal detectors are microprocessor based and pc compatible and have six zone detection it has a multi mode counter that is in and out or walk and out this digitally controls sensitivity threshold and volume for display purpose museum use several types of equipment generally we use different types of showcases these showcases are mainly used for housing exhibits and showing three dimensional exhibits sides of the showcases may be covered with glass it should provide a suitable microclimate for object and it 
helps the museum authority to protect their object from theft, burglary, and other incident. Sometimes bulletproof showcases are used for protecting objects from robbery. Very strong steel walls with bulletproof glass covers are used to display valuable artifacts. Nowadays, visible storage are also in use in some of the museum. Generally, the height of the showcase should not exceed seven feet because it helps for seeing for the general masses. But the weight and the depth of it may vary according to the object. According to the nature of the exhibit, the inner partitions may be of glass or wood or acrylic. Several types of materials like fabric boards are available for interior use. Showcases are of many types. Here is a picture of wall showcases. This showcase is mainly mounted on the wall and it is hung or it is hung from it or it may be set in the cavities of the wall. A combination of steel wood or glass is used to make such showcases. Small brackets of parpets are often used at the back wall to support the exhibits. The height and the depth of the case may vary according to the size and the necessity of the exhibits. Table top showcases. Here we see an example of table top showcase. This showcase is flat disc like showcase where exhibits are placed on the top with either a flat or a bit slanting transparent showcase. In National Archives in New Delhi, we see we can see this type of showcase for exi exhibiting different type of paper documents. These showcases are useful for exhibiting two-dimensional exhibits of small size and these tabletop showcases are of two types that is single face table case and double face table case. There are also vertical showcases. This showcase has four corners, almost cylindrical in shape and have wooden or metal framework with glass faces. These are placed at the center of the exhibition gallery so that exhibits placed inside those can be observed from all the direction in the gallery. Panel showcase is a vertical flat surface to mount an exhibit mainly two-dimensional ones. Here is a glimpse of panel showcase. It can successfully add area of the exhibition service, divide four space to avoid monotony or flatness etc. In the Natural History Museum, we use a special type of uh, equipment that is called dioramas. It is mainly a three-dimensional representation of nat natural scenes housed in a showcase which is life-size or miniature-sized figures or objects grouped in front of a model background, curved or painted, created an illusion of depth. Full-scale dioramas are nowadays used in natural history museums 
to exhibit animal, birds, plants in their natural habitat. Sometimes walk through diorama, cut off diorama, etc. are also in use. Here is a picture of diorama depicting Rajasthani artist at work in the National Museum New Delhi and the another one picture which shows diorama from Indian Museum Kolkata. Pedestals are also widely used in museums. It is a box-like structure and it may be open. It is mainly made up of wood. To give a proper balance, it is a common practice to give pedestal a conical shape. Brought at the base, nowadays pedestal are being made on metal frames on which fiber glasses are placed to cover the frames. A notch on the top is used to fix the object properly. Height and width of the pedestal is determined mainly and vary according to the size and shape of the object. Sometimes the bottom portion of a pedestal is used for storage purpose. Stand is also used but it has little difference with pedestal. It is not conical and it do not have any notches on it. Terraced stand are used to place many small similar type of artifacts on the same stand. And the materials differ from wood to acrylic. Panels and screens etc. are also used for display of objects. These are vertical flat surfaces and mainly two dimensional exhibits are displayed here. Photographs, prints, maps, shirts etc. It can successfully add area to the exhibition surface, divide floor place and sometimes it also helps to come over the monotony or flatness. It may be made up of fabric, wood, acrylic, PVC with legs or supports. Patrons, these are transparent covers, housing, exhibitions and generally it is placed on the pedestal or test strengths. There are different types of lighting which are used in the exhibition area or in a museum gallery. Spotlight is of utmost importance. It is used to produce intense illumination in a particular area of light. In case of showing sculptures, sometimes spotlight is used to show in such a way that it reveals the aesthetic beauty or detailing of a sculpture. The projected light of this device is shaped by its constructional features like shutters, an iris diaphragm and adjustable lenses fixed in an enclosure. It can be fixed singly in a single depression or it can be fixed in a track also. Fluorescent light is low vapor pressure mercury lamp. An electric charge is passed through the mercury vapor between the two electrodes. This electrical field causes emission of ultraviolet rays. 
the various types of fluorine slugs are available in our country such as daylight 6000 k daylight 5400 k warm white 3000 k interna 2700 k etc for several purposes and they have several different types of properties louvered light it is also a device by which glare of light rays from fluorescent tubes or lamps is eliminated louvers are actually suspended from ceilings made of united rectangular shaped cross stripes of metal or plastic through which light can pass at an angle from 45 to 50 degree from top and thus light the room semi indirectly and there is no glare on the object trophy light is already in use in our country this light is covered with special directive lenses that place light at a particular angle this may be of fluorescent or incandescent type this light are either housed in small box like structure or larger units fixed end to end like ravens. They are also fixed at the surface level of a ceiling and mainly the truffle light is used for object lighting. Here is a picture of truffle light. Tungsten lamps are also known as incandescent lamp. Tungsten halogen lamps are also in use for lighting museum gallery. With the introduction of new technology, these are now more user friendly and are available in flat, narrow beam or spotlight type. And it is also available with ultraviolet stop filters. Use of visitors, museum also use audio guide devices. A manual audio guide device is a useful thing for every visitor in a museum. This device provides information relevant to the museum collection, sometimes it also explains some points about the important collections. It also combines image of the collection with sounds, resulting in an attracting and interesting guided tour for the audience. In addition, it has the advantage that it allows the visitors to get a unique experience by choosing which exhibit he or she is interested to visit or to know any information about the object during his or her museum tour. These devices are of varied types such as audio guide text phone, a video guided tour or audio guided tour with a suitable computer device etc. Audio guide text phone or a video guided tour on a pumped up computer or audio guided tour to subtitles etc create an interactive atmosphere for the visitors during museum visit. We also nowadays see interactive application for mobile phones during the museum visit 
the application of mobile phones involves the diffusion of museum information through such devices and it is also accessible by the software of apple or android the holder of an iphone or a smartphone handset acquires the possibility to download the application on its mobile device and often information related to museum exhibit and collection sometimes a visitor could get information about the museum opening hours price of the ticket museum closing the the site of the museum the exact map of the museum the key collection of the museum through this type of equipment now in some museums we also see information kiosk with touch screens it is based on the operation of an embedded computer with extended memory capacity it guides museum visitors to see the museum virtually and it is also an effective and additional tool for the visitors educational or entertainment experience and enriches it virtually most common touch screens are mainly based on a sheet of glass covering the display where various technologies are applied to the glass to allow the visitor to select the exhibit ex of interest on a display for further interaction here is a photograph of information kiosk with the screen exhibit labels also helps a museum for providing information to its visitor about his collection but in india high percentage of visitors are not very interested with the written materials because most of them come for entertaining purpose about 30 to 35% of visitors read the ordinary label actually and they take the information from that label but the other portion of the visitors are reluctant to read the label and at the same time we should mention that in most of the cases the label do not provide the necessary information about an object to a visitor completely or interestingly there are different types of label which are used by the museum such as individual label caption label tick off label group label etc and these are a part of the museum exhibition though it is not an equipment but it is an essential part of a museum exhibition and the sum up with that these are the basic um, equipment which is generally used in a museum museum has several functions starting from collection then documentation conservation display security etc here mainly we pointed out the equipment 
used for the maintaining of the museum climate, museum related to conservation of the object, museum related to the security of the object, equipment used for the display of the object, etc. But besides this, there are these are the basic equipment which is used in a museum. But besides this, there are several other types of equipment which are already in use in the museum, particularly for documentation purposes. There are so many types of equipment which are already in use. For storage, we use different types of racks, seals, lights. Uh, for transportation, we use trolleys, different types of racks, different types of tables, etc. For packing purposes, we also use different type of equipment, but here in a nutshell, I want to discuss the basic equipment which is used by a museum. And at the end, I should again suggest you that please go through the references which would give, give you um, a good idea about the museum equipment and the websites will help you to increase your knowledge about this area. Glossary is also given at the end of the module and MCQ will help a student to enrich his standard of knowing and to uh, developing his ideas and thoughts about this particular topic. Thank you.